What's going on, family? Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hey, I just uh, want to show everybody my incubator that I made. Um, now that I got the uh, quail eggs in it. So, it's about to turn on now and start turning. Um, it says day one, but it's really day two. I started late putting them in. Uh, so... We'll see here. I'm just gonna let this get to, uh, there we go. Now, here's the turning. It's turning, and plus I got the light on. Check it out. Turns every two hours. There it is. So, yep, got my, got me a humidity pan in there with a little, uh, one humidity pad. I ha didn't have a pad in at first and it was getting me at, uh, just like, right, 40, 42, 46 fluctuating, um, uh, percent humidity. So I just went ahead and put the pad in so I could up the humidity up. Um, so yeah, I think that'll be satisfactory. Plus, um, there's a main fan on it, uh, which you can't see because of the humidity pad, but there's a main, main, uh, main fan that's on all the time whenever the unit is turned on as far as plugged in. I'm getting a breaker for it here in just a little bit. And, uh, um, that main fan is blowing on the heating elements. And with this controller, um, when it gets too much humidity or the temperature rises too high, besides turning off the heat, there's a ventilation fan that I installed on the side that I gotta get a cover for. Um, but yeah, that ventilation fan will kick on and vent out everything. So, plus, got a hole right here for a little ventilation and then there's a hole in the back there so yeah plus I got this right here and that's got a uh, got one of the little socks on for humidity so that's like wet bulb temperature so and that's how I did my power cord and everything uh, I'll when I, this batch is over with I'll take the lid off later and go in depth about um, how I wired it. Actually, the wiring, I think it's pretty decent, but you know, it could have probably been a little bit better, but I tried to do it as professional as possible. Like even in the back, there's a, uh, it's called snake skin. I put that on some of the wiring, most of the wiring actually, except for my ventilation fan, which is back there. That wiring uh, down there for the ventilation fan. I didn't get a chance to put it on because that was like one of the last things I put on. I actually fabricated that bracket uh, that's on there. So pretty much everything I fabricated, man. I mean, everything from the holders for the trays. I mean, that's fabricated. That aluminum there, I fabricated all that. Um, even had to fabricate the the turner to some degree but it was mostly was all there but i still had to extend it out because it wasn't you can't really see yeah there you go that's the extensions i had to extend it out slightly because the way i got it wouldn't work so it had to be modified but um i'm going to like i said put a breaker in it just so i have circuit uh protection and i'm going to um put a uv lamp in here so i got that ordered so that's uh that's it in a nutshell man you know i just was like hey i can't afford a g uh gqf incubator but i can make this way cheaper um and get the parts cheaper so honestly i'm in this for about a hundred bucks uh with everything i mean the cabinet itself i got from um the thrift store, it was like $15.
Um, bucket from Atwoods is like two or three dollars. Uh, that little thermometer is like two dollars. Uh, the little thermometer on the side, I think that was 18. The controller was like 30, and that box is like six. Um, the aluminum stuff, a lot of this I actually got uh, scrapped from my work uh, and just kind of put it together. Um, the trays, I forgot how much they are. I only got three of them, but it wasn't that expensive. That's why I said, and same way for the handle, all that. The handle, I did get these clips for the incubator. I had to order them for, that was for GQF, so I had to get that for them. That handle to open it, that was already, uh, that was, I don't know, that was 50 cents. These hinges, I modified them, had to bend them around. Um, actually, it didn't come with a door. So this right here is some melamine that I bought and I cut it out. Me and my neighbor actually cut it out. He helped me cut it. Um, let me use this table, uh, not table saw, um, saw horses. And uh, he actually gave me the glass. So pretty cool neighbor. So the glass that's in there, I got from the neighbor. Basically you put uh, silicone, wa uh, weatherproof silicone, mildew proof silicone under it. Kind of like how you would do a car part. Then put weight on it to where it would kind of squeeze out. And then once it squeezed out, I took like a, a seam sealer brush and just brushed around it. And then what I did is I went and I got the mirror holders, you know, that you would use for like a bathroom mirror. And I clamped, you know, screwed those down to where it's clamped down to where it's sealed off with silicone. Um, and the inside has got the little bubble insulation. I got that at the uh, thrift store as well. They had a deal on that. So I, I, don't, I forgot. It, was, it wasn't even $10, man. But I got all of that to do the whole inside. And I already had the actual ducting tape, so yeah. And that I already had, and I want to say that GQF humidity tank was like, oh man, it might have been, it might I think it's a little about twenty dollars, and then um, I got a float from Granger, um, man, it was like eight dollars. And then this stuff here, I got from a uh, little plumbing supply place. I kid you not, I got that little quarter inch union, a quarter inch valve, um, and this little quarter inch PEX for 10 bucks. So there you go. So uh, here it is. Just kind of wanted to give you an update on everything. Um, we're going to have. 15 more days later, and we'll see how the hatch rate is. I had 180 eggs. Um, two of those eggs was cracked, so it's 178. Um, got these eggs from uh, Kansas City Quail Farm. They was actually pretty cool with me. I had to re-up, uh, re because the ones I had uh, kind of, they died out on me because they were old, and I, I wasn't replenishing. Heck, I was just eating meat. That was my mistake, but hey, I know now. So, um, I got some valuable information from Robbie down in uh, uh, James Marie Farm. Also get some uh, some uh, quail eggs from him as well. So, yeah. Um, we're going to get it going again. So, and then we just got to keep producing. He gave me a formula to keep my own stock up and when to get new blood. This is a cool cat, you know. So, that's it, everybody. Uh, just kind of wanted to give you an update. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe.